Good morning, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Asian Preview, North American Wrap. You can see the first chart we have up here is the uh, New Zealand dollar, which uh, was just crushed over a percent in uh, right after their CPI data disappointed. It came out 0.1, it was expected 0.4. That's a huge miss for CPI data. I mean, 0.3, 0.3 weaker. You can see we we went up and tested this, made a new high actually just before CPI came out up to 74.38. And then in this 15 minute chart, it completely collapsed. It actually went down to uh, pop over to the daily chart so you can see what that looks like. That, that's an ugly, that's a really ugly daily bar. Closed lower on the day where we opened at uh, 73.54 close down here so there is a little bit of support against these old highs 7330 and you can see the low so far is right here um, you know it makes me want to be selling rallies in, <clears throat> in Kiwi and maybe crossing that with some uh, some other positions because I don't really some other currencies I don't really want to be short Kiwi versus the dollar We'll see why if you look at the daily euro dollar chart took out the old highs 123.22 very cleanly and went straight up to 124.15 cable went completely parabolic today taking out the previous day's high and going up about one and a half percent so again it's this broad dollar weakness theme that we've talked about um, here's dollar swiss show you where we are in uh, in dollar Swiss, we have we are now approaching and got very close to this 94.20, which was the low of 2017. If we take that out, there's really nothing. I like the 92 handle, 91 handle. So again, broad dollar weakness showing up everywhere. Dollar yen talked about last night that finally broke the 110 psychological support and the Fibonacci up at 110.15. Um, a lot of this was spurred early uh, during during the European session by um, Munchen talking about um, the U.S. wanting a weaker dollar to be more competitive in global trade. So, that, you know, that, that's a pretty big shift. Um, they, they certainly are talking the dollar down and uh, that causes broad dollar weakness dollar index is making new lows for this entire cycle taking out these lows here at uh, 90 do have support coming around 88 there's some technical support at 88 uh, uh, as far as upcoming data uh, nothing much in Asia uh, the highlight tomorrow is going to be the ECB Again, here's the daily chart. We will be, they'll announce, they, they won't announce anything at, uh, you know, with the, uh, the, the initial headlines, but uh, the market will be waiting around for Draghi to speak. And a lot of the research we've been reading, uh, he will try to talk the euro down because it's had such a big move up, you know, especially just these past couple weeks. From uh, from uh, if you take a look and see where we are in the year, you know we started the year down here at that was in December. We had we had, we started we started moving higher, kind of bottomed here in December, right around Christmas, and we've gone from that 117 all the way up to 124 today. So the euro is up about 14 percent in the past year against the dollar and 6% against the trade weighted. <clears throat> so there's certainly some, cons there, there, there will be some concern at the, the rate of change more than the current level of 124, the figure, 124, the figure. Um, so I think that would be the key for the ECB meeting tomorrow, listening to the press conference, seeing how See if, if he can come across as somewhat dovish, 
and then talking the euro down, you would see a, a, a nice correction. The options market's pricing in about an 85 pip move either side of spot, so it's not huge. Um, you know, with the intraday volatility picking up a bit, I think that that seems a little bit underpriced. Um, wouldn't be at all surprised to see euro go back down to like kind of 123 the figure and then you know rally into into the end of the week um, because the rest of the dollars are just com completely offered like the wind and uh, I don't see this really stopping um, in the next couple days uh, we do have some cycle work we look at calling for a euro top early next week and uh, that's when I'd start searching for reversal patterns on some of the shorter time frames. Um, that should do it. Good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.